Well, we of course couldn't bring out the gorgeous tulips, but they are stunning, and they yeah, do such really. a great job, and it's a lot of technology. Oh, technology, well, but you know what is The tulip is right after the holidays, tulip season begins, and it goes a long time now. Yeah, it's going to be beautiful, so let's take a look at... Uh Bush roses surrounded by a million tulips with Jake. This is amazing. We'll grow all the way up through Mother's Day with tulips here, growing five million tulips annually in the greenhouse. Well, tulips have come around as like the thing right after the holidays, right? Exactly. Tulips bring such a wonderful breath of fresh air right into your house. And now we have it all automated with a machine that will grade over 8,000 tulips an hour or 800 bunches. After they are in the holding cooler, when they come in from the semi-truck, they're planted into individual trays. Then the tulips are moved into the rooting cooler where they're watered. This is where the roots are really gonna start to come out of the tulip. From the rooting cooler, we bring them out and we place them into the greenhouse. Once we harvest the tulips out of the beds, they go onto a trolley system that is run to our grading machine. The grading machine will remove the bulb from the tulip, and then the workers will place the tulip heads on a laser line. The grading machine then will cut them all to length, and then the grading machine bundles them into bundles of 10. As they come around the corner from the grading machine, they're inserted into a sleeve, into a bucket, and then they eventually will transport to your local florist or retail outlet that you get tulips from. So your dad has a really neat trick for how to keep your tulips standing up straight in the vase. Right. My dad has grown tulips for over 60 years in his yard. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing, exactly. It's called slitting the throat. And basically what you do is you just insert the knife right through the middle of the stem, put it through until you feel the tip of the knife come through, and then pull it out. What that basically does is stops the water from going up to the top of the tulip. It pushes it from both sides which pushes the tulips straight up rather than to flop over. Although floppy tulips are very pretty too. It, there's a, a lot of different looks and a lot right. of different likes that people do appreciate. And you should do that right when you buy them? Right when you buy them, when you put them into water. And it works, you tr tried it out. Both Laura <coughs> and I tried it and it does extend it from flopping over, it was really cool. And we got that tip from Jake's dad. Yes, Mr. Zebar. Mr. Zebar, who came up with this in 45 years of doing this. I never heard of yeah, it. Yeah, and he knows what he's doing. I've had a chance to plant some of his bulbs in my yard and yeah. just enjoy them as well. So, Mr. Zebar, thank you for thank the tip. You. And Jake, Everyone thank you so you. much. And of course, if you're going to buy the tulips at the grocery store or at a florist, buy them kind of tight because then you'll actually have well, a better... They don't have to be totally tight, but don't buy them when they're super open. That's all. All right. So all the details, of course, are on carolevin.com and you can find everything on the local page. And it's also right on the top as well. And if you want everything to come to you directly to your phone, just text 763-797-7215 and uh, text that grow and then all of that will come right. right to you and if you text grow you'll get invited to join our grow with care page yes our facebook page and we'll be back with those questions in just a few moments